need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. America, this probably the first time that I didn't want to hear my brother Ray C's Leo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only because of this, man. If you don't yeah. know, if you're a first time viewer, you might know, uh, you might not know, excuse me, that I picked the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. Uh, to be the T, don't, <laughs> yeah. to be the two seed <laughs> in the Western Conference. And oh. they, they got me looking. Looking a fool out here in these streets, America. Man. They got me Man. looking a fool out here in these streets. I think, just my, you. I think my logic was sound. It was. But uh, I'm going to let my brother go ahead and, and talk to y'all about what he's seen from the former dynasty that was yeah. the Golden State Warriors, particularly and, Draymond Green and Steph Curry. Yeah, and, and, and you know, for the record, it's not just you. It's, it's a lot of people out there right now that are, are looking, you know, Days are confused, man, because they're looking at something that was a dynasty, is a dynasty. I don't know. I don't know what it is right now. I can tell you what it looks like. It looks like trash. Um, <laughs> and that's and that's hard to fathom when you're talking about what we call the greatest shooter of all time. Right. We, we, we've just put put Steph Curry past Ray Allen, Larry Bird, Reggie Miller. Uh, you name it. He's just just head and shoulders above those guys. Right. The only unanimous MVP. Let's keep that in mind, right? I got two of them. Got two of them. So regardless of whether we think he's a unanimous MVP, I'm just telling you what really happened in real life. All right. <laughs> um, and then a guy who is the self-proclaimed goat defender, and just one of the smartest basketball players to ever do this. Right? He tries right. to talk so far above our heads about how important his pick and roll game is. Um, and, and, and listen, I'm a I'm a fan of Draymond Green. In, in a sense where I look at him a little bit differently than he looks at himself because Draymond puts himself at a level where he doesn't really live. Um, if Draymond would, would, if Draymond would put himself in a box where he belongs, then I'd be his greatest defender to be like, man, y'all don't understand the value of his game because I understand what basketball IQ means. And he has that, but here's what's happened. Long story short, we, when I say we, I mean just the, the general public, the media, and the Golden State Warriors themselves have hyped themselves up to a point where they forget, like, you got to put work in. You can't just step on the court because of what you've done in, in years past. People lay down. There is no way that the greatest shooter of all time, a two-time MVP, and one of the better defenders to ever play our game, one of the smarter basketball players to ever play our game, should be 10th in the West. I understand that both of them have missed, you know, good amounts of time, right, with injury. But I'm talking about the games that they play. The games that they play, they look worse than when they're not playing. And that's hard for me to believe, man, when you have Steph Curry on the floor who automatically stretches the floor to half court. You have mm -hmm. to pick him up at half court. Right. And then Draymond Green, who can offset a game just by the way he plays it, and to watch them sometimes, it's like they're not even engaged. I know some of that is by design. That you know, we've heard them say that Steve Curry said, "I'm not going to waste you know Steph Curry in a season where we're you know probably not going to win." Um, but at what point does a two-time MVP and a guy that considers himself a dog like Draymond Green when is it like, man, I'm not going to step on the court and give a half-ass performance? Like at some point, it's going to be, I'm not going to let teams come out and just night after night disrespect me. The Golden State Warriors, I think, have lost eight games in a row, seven games in a row. They're 10th. Seven and eight. Yeah, seven They're 10th. Eight so either either, either Clay Thompson is that important, and we gave the MVP to the wrong guy. Oh. Or. Oh. I mean, or these guys are stealing money. Because the product that they are putting on the court, I don't care what you say. I don't care what kind of numbers Steph Curry is putting up. These are not two-time MVP numbers. I don't care what Draymond Green says in a press conference or what he has accomplished. We're talking about today. Today, these guys look horrible. Now, 
the pieces around them maybe not as great when they were winning the championships kevin durant covers a multitude of sins right andre iguodala is one of those guys that you don't understand his value until he's gone mm-hmm. clay thompson scores 60 points on less than 10 dribbles i get it i get it but i will say this people beat up on lebron james all the time and i'm not the the greatest lebron james fan i respect him for his game if lebron james played night in and night out and was in the 10th spot people would be crucifying that brother that's true but that doesn't happen why because lebron james is all-time great and when he's on the floor his team automatically automatically their plus minus goes through the roof when he's on the floor right so why can't the same thing happen for a two-time unanimous mvp and a "Quote unquote goat defender." This is a group conversation. I don't just want to talk about it by myself. So, no, I so want to hear you. Out. I want to hear you because I, I know. Mean, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I want to hear you. I want to hear you out. I'm confused. I, I'm I, confused. I do, I do not think it is really and truly uh, on Steph and Draymond. I don't. I think the uh, in the words of uh, Dave Chappelle on the Rick James skit, "The milk gone bad." <laughs> the milk's gone bad. <laughs> I'm just telling you, the it's milk's gone bad. Analogy, man. The milk's gone yeah. bad, man. Look, I look so, at guys so, like so. You just say you just say that their, their time in the sun is up. It's it's the, the milk's gone bad. Like okay, because okay, like they were talking about. I mean, like right now they've got like a hundred million dollars in contracts amongst the big three. Yep, they paying Andrew Wiggins stupid money too. There's a lot of money tied up. And guys, and we all know. Let, let's just be honest. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna just put it on wax. You know what? That's because, because that's what we do. Yeah. Andrew Wiggins is the most disappointing prospect I've ever seen in my career of watching basketball. And from the, we talking from the slam era, high school. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. And they can say what they want to say. Andrew Wiggins is the most disappointing talent I have seen he is a in my time from understanding, from, from looking at from my slam, the slam magazine, yeah. the rookies, they you know, the, the, the high school boys they used to give us. And look, we went to school where a guy, I ain't gonna say his name, but he was a right. five star. Right. He played for our university, right. and we saw this man in the magazines years ago. By the name Rashad Carew. You know who I'm talking about, Rashad Carew. He was I in the book. He was a five star. He was a four five star man. Dude was the truth. Hmm. So, but but what I'm saying is, Andrew Wiggins was a preseason All American as a freshman at Kansas. Preseason All American as a freshman. He was was he the number one pick one in the draft? Two. One or two. He was one or two. Yeah. Okay, and then I yeah. think what LeBron said. No, yeah, we gotta guy. ship him out. I, I need, yeah, I need season guys for this championship run. I need that guy. I don't need that guy. Yep. Jimmy Butler, the guy that does not, that never had an offer, had to go the hard route to get there. He looking yeah. at Towns and Wiggins going, "Hey, y'all had it way sweeter than me. Why am I nicer than y'all?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but but I'm just saying though, I think I think the organization to me, the 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 it is worn off. The magic's worn off. It's over. It's yeah. over now. The 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 way they played, the things they did, I don't know if they can get that back because they got too much money tied up in the guys they drafted. I mean, you, you're talking Clay, Steph, Draymond. They drafted them guys. Shout out to Bob Myers and the crew for getting that done, signing that talent. But now you're having to fill their roster with guys that don't work. But They don't have that... We so, can't let them off the hook, though, man. And so, well, and, 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 and so to, to my point is, all right, you say you say the, the, the sun is setting, the milk is gone bad. I got that. I, I, I tend to agree with you on that. But you got to make playoff. You got to make playoff runs, man. You can't well, they be. Tenth. They play you, in? In 10th? We cannot say, man, if y'all were telling me that I have a team that has a two-time MVP that's active. He sits sometimes. He misses 10 to 12 games, right? But he's active. And a guy that says he's the perennial defensive player of the edition, I'm the best defender of all time. Mm -hmm. There is no way 10th 
should be satisfaction in anybody's mindset. Okay, now, let, so let me tell, okay, let me let me remind us of something now. Folks forget LeBron Brum first year with my Lakers, we missed the playoffs. Yeah. And he got drug for that. Yeah, crucified. I know I was hot. And, and a lot of folks, the media drug him. Yeah. Laker Nation was hot. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't have another Hall of Fame out there with him. Now, B.I. might end up, I don't know what B.I. Draymond already probably going to Hall of Fame based yes. on what he's done. Defense yes. player of the year. He has real player. accolades. He got him Perennial all-star. You got the number one draft pick in your boy uh, Wiseman. Wiseman out there. You got Kelly Oubre, who's had success in the other stops. Now, you're right now, Wiggins has underperformed. But Draymond claim, this is Draymond claim now, Everybody claim he the heart and soul of that team. You would think he going to coach these guys up and get the effort out All of All right, them. so let me ask you a question. Who's the first temptation you would name in that group? Who's the first? Hey, who, 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 David Ruffin? Hey, who's the first temptation you going to name when you talk about the temptation? I'm a David Ruffin. Okay, is, is Draymond David Ruffin? He Otis. He Otis. Yeah, he Otis, yeah. yeah. And, and what is Otis? What is Otis to y'all? But you need, it, you need it Otis. I understand that. You but I'm just saying, who is Otis to y'all? Who does Otis to y'all in the temps? Oh, he's number five to me. Number five. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm but, with you. Hold on now, y'all. <laughs> let, no. We can't let them make it. Ray, you right. We can't let them make no, it. No, I'm not going to let them make it. I saw, I'm not. I, I was just seeing, I watched some an old episode of first, not first take, Undisputed. Yeah. Where Chuck and Draymond had got into it, and they mm -hmm. were talking about it. this man Skip Bayless told me Draymond Green is a better player than Charles Barkley ever was, and that's why because, we're here to clean it up because because of the intangibles, because of his defense, because he runs the offense, because he's a better passer than than Charles ever was. That he's a bad teammate. That Shannon said to to Skip Bayless. Now Skip be trashing him now, but right, I'm explaining. Right, 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 right. Skip's. I mean, Shannon said to Skip, if you put Draymond Green on that 1993 Phoenix Sun team, do they go to the title to the championship round? And that man said yes. That's and why. That's why we're here to clear it up, though. That's why we're having this conversation because <laughs> it's time for these things to be cleared up, right? At the end of the day, what we have to understand is. I, I do believe that this is a dynasty because they had a they had a three to four year run where they were right there every time they either won it or they were there. Right. They did some recruiting, but that's the league. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to crush them for that. That's the league that we're in today. They they went and got a mercenary and Kevin Durant lit it up. It fell apart. Now they're out. Right. I'm talking about the mainstays, the mainstays, even when you're 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 better player and, and clay thompson goes down i still have a two-time mvp right i, get that. I, get I still that. i still have a guy in draymond that regardless of what he thinks of himself because what he thinks of himself in reality is totally different like it's totally different draymond does think he's on the level of charles barkley he's very disrespectful in that regard too because charles barkley is one of the greatest players of all time okay charles barkley you can give him a team and he will take you to the finals in his prime. But at the very least, he'll be you'll be a perennial playoff contender. Draymond showed his value when Clay and Steph were out. That's right? True. You can't, That's you can't, you cannot win with Draymond Green being your focal point. I love his game. I love his game. This is Ray Coleman saying, I, I love his game. I love the fact that he can be effective without the basketball, but that doesn't mean Ray Coleman thinks that he is the end all be all of the Golden State Warriors. But this is right. what happens. You get a little success, you start thinking a little bit too much of yourself, and then you forget what the headline says. Stop talking and do work. Draymond Green has been talking before they won the championship, <laughs> but definitely after they won a championship. Can, can I pull y'all a quote on a statement he recently made? Then? Please. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, of course, playing for a play-in game does not excite him. That does nothing to motivate him to go out there and win ball games right now. Playing I, so, baby, he's just like, baby, we can't win the championship. I don't care about this season. What so that's another one. As, as, a, as a supposed leader. 
that's got, another one of those things that I don't know if it's a if it's a first of all, how old is Draymond? Is Draymond 30? He's 30. He's 30. He's 30. So it's one of those things. I don't know okay. if it's a if it's a generational thing. I'm 36. Um, so I'm not that far ahead of Draymond, but I feel like it's I feel like there's a, a slight generational gap there to where Sometimes, man, the fact that the matter is, brother, guys don't get fired up just to compete. I, I, we see that now. We see that yeah, the guys don't get juiced up to compete. If but I'm I, still uh, the arrogance of it to say that in a press conference, we know guys like that in the league because they getting paid millions of dollars. Yeah. Whether they win or lose, they gonna be good all in anyway. But the arrogance of it to get in front of a mic and basically say, "I don't care nothing about this." There's some that mics that there's some mics that don't need to go in front of people. He's one of them. He's he's one of them, man, because he thinks everything he says is next level. Um, I look at it like every night, and, and, and this is the difference. This is the difference. This is where you get into trouble when you start trying to compare Draymond Green to guys like Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan. Sure. Don't even put him in Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson status. Those guys wanted to beat the guy in front of them every night because there was no way they wanted to walk off the court with you thinking, oh, I just took it to Larry Bird or I just gave Barkley the business. No, those guys wanted to do work, not just against the Ray Comas in the NBA, but they wanted to do it to each other. Carl Malone and, and Charles Barkley wanted to go head up. You see what I'm saying? So you don't see that with a guy like Draymond. Yeah, in the playoffs, he's ready. He's ready to go. He's I'll your guy. This. I'll say this. I think, I think the Golden State Warriors, and again, I go back to the milk's gone bad. If it's true that they, that Golden State was going to take LaMelo at two and didn't take him, yeah, they screwed up. Like they really screwed up. Cause if, you, if we're looking at the product that we're seeing now with LaMelo over there in Charlotte, and if that could have been a bigger help in a guard heavy league, yep. Especially spell, with Clay going down. To yeah. spell Steph. That's right. With Clay going down, I get it. He's oh, not yeah. the defender Clay is. I get all sure, that. But sure. but neither is Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum on a nightly basis. Right. But they still get things done. But exactly. see, I you I trust your vision on 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 uh, evaluating talent. You know what I'm saying? You've yeah. been we watch countless games together. You my college roommate. We didn't watch countless games together. You be like, man, that dude nice. That dude end up being nice. Mm -hmm. You said it. So some there, something is there with Wiseman. I think so. And I, and I still don't doubt that. So now I'm looking at so. what are they doing to get it out of him? I thought again another reason why America, <laughs> I picked him to be the two seed because I was like, okay, yeah, they down Clay, but they still got still they got Draymond and they got the number. Did what? What was he? Number one or number two? Number was two. Was number two number draft two. pick. Oh yeah. And, but but he gonna be able to get the tutelage from a guy like Draymond. That Ray Caesar, when you brought up Kevin Garnett, that what came because because Draymond think he Kevin Garnett. And he's not. Kevin Garnett was vocal, passionate, uh, uh, heady defensively, and all that kind of stuff. And he gonna get the best out of. It. He made that Boston Celtics team. Really play play deep in, and let's not KG forget that. KG made a sacrifice when he went to Boston and lessened himself offensively. It wasn't because he couldn't; it's because he he understood his his role and niche. He chose to be Draymond Green with the Boston Celtics, but before yeah. that, Kevin Garnett was a dog yeah. in Minnesota. Yeah. Right, yeah. he was the best player on his team, perennial All Star MVP. Draymond can never say that about his career. Yeah. Unless he is traded away from the Golden State Warriors, he will never be able to say he was the best player on his team. What about he will never because it's like we focused on 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 Draymond. No, and, and I, what, I was I was about, about to, not, not being a two way guy. I was about to get to that when you said, um, you know, Dr Draymond made the comment about that doesn't excite him. Last night, Sunday night, they lost to the Hawks, right? In my brain. I'm Steph Curry. I'm going up against Trey Young. I need to make Trey Young understand that you are diet Steph Curry. Right? And oh. and it, sh it shouldn't even be a question when the game is done that you're, you're still not even close. And I think that Trey Young is a hell of a player. Right? But at the end of the day, he should not feel comfortable on the court with Steph Curry when the game is over. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's me showing my age. 
but I hear the stories of when guys go up against Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Charles Barkley in his prime, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. When they went up against these, Allen Iverson, when they went up against these guys, there was a certain level of fear or respect that you had to pay to those guys because you knew if you did not, you were going to be embarrassed. And all those guys that I mentioned wanted to destroy you. Steph had 37, though. He had 37, but he took an L against a team that is perennially trash. But Atlanta's what, 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 not trash. They're the fourth in the East. What what uh uh what way them better had? talent? What trade them have? Trey didn't have a 13. How many assists he had? He didn't have a f- three assists. Yes, this is this is this is what I'm saying. Clint Capella had 24 and 18. I understand that. You want to get that over there? Yeah, I understand. You want to get that over there? But T, <laughs> let me ask you this: In your heart of hearts, right now, Wiseman can do that. In, in, in your heart of hearts, right now, the the Atlanta Hawks in the fourth seed in the East. I'm not going to say what I think about the fourth seed in the East. I'm just going to say, in your heart of hearts, right now, are the Atlanta Hawks a team that makes you say, "Oh man, I can't wait to see what they're going to do in the playoff. They're going to make a run. They're going to." Or is it I, just I can, say, I can I can say this much they they intrigue me they intrigue me to do what because because they have enough they have enough of everything that if Nate McMillan can make it work I'm not saying they'll make the ECF I do think though they'll be as tough of an out as you're gonna see in the playoffs we we've said the same thing about countless other teams they have enough pieces parts they have enough guys that can score. They have enough bigs that can rebound. They have it all. Now, I'm not saying they Philly. I'm not saying they Brooklyn. Can't say that. But what I'm saying to you is, is that they are going to fucking, they're going to compete. They're going to compete. Now, at all costs. Just to be thorough now, because we still, we've done a segment on this. It's still the Eastern Conference. No, that, and I I didn't want to say it, but the the Hawks are only 26 and 24. And, and, and what are the Golden State Warriors? Flip over to the West real quick, because that, that's the point that I'm trying now, to make. Now, the Warriors are four games under 500. And what's their... But uh, they are 23 and 27. And in the West, the Grizzlies are the eighth seed, and they 24 and 23. It doesn't impress me. That's so what like, I'm saying. It, it just... The quality of work is, is the same. We have to go by conferences because that's all we got. We can't we can't yeah. rewrite that. We can't rewrite it. So I, I understand why we have to say they're fourth in the West and fourth in the East. Man, at the end of the day, when you turn on the TV screen, there's no way that the Atlanta Hawks should be beating the Golden State Warriors. They can with, in the current composition. Correct. What they're currently composed of, yes, Atlanta can are, beat these. Are boys. they only missing Clay? They only missing Clay. And so Clay is. I, we just watched the last dance. Scotty Pippen missed thirty-eight games, something like that. It's either or, man. And they still it's, had the one seed. It's either or. Either either. Clay Thompson is so valuable that we need to stop big up in Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Or T. Well, I'm your just point asking. is that the milk is gone bad. The milk has gone bad, and, and that this is over, and we just need to stop saying that Steph Curry. Is the high and mighty guard in the NBA? He will always, he will always get a pass. He will always get a pass. Not here. He's gonna, not here. He's gonna always give it. Not probably not with you. Probably not. Yeah, with not you. here. He won't. I'm just saying, national media is gonna always get a pass. He's gonna always get a pass. He getting yeah. one, yeah. Because he was never expected to do anything when he came out. Nobody even expected him to be a two time MVP. Truthfully, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's truthfully. What it is. Truthfully, there was no hype on Steph Curry. Zero. They just said this is just going to be another great shooter. He'll be a great shooter. He'll be a heck of a shooter. But they didn't get put no stock in what he did at Davidson. Man, I got. And I get. I got to debunk that though because nobody expected Giannis to be anything either. He's a two-time MVP, and now that he's and he gets ripped because he doesn't get his team over the hump. So if it's good enough for Giannis, and I agree, it should be good enough for Giannis. It's got to be good enough for the well, greatest I've, shooter of all said, time. Well, what I've said okay. before, though. Now, go ahead, they, go ahead, Will. They will probably counter us with that and say, well, Steph got three ships, Giannis got zero. That's what they would probably say. Now, what I would say then is that first ship that they won in 2015, if LeBron, Raymond, James, <laughs> <Singer> <laughs> didn't yeah. have up, 
if he didn't have us three out there, they took him six with us out there with him. I he get had it. De Matthew Delavadova, me, I you, get and Ray. It. I get it. And it went six. If that man been have, doing it all his life. But if, if if he either have Kevin Love or Kyrie, they probably win that series. And then I, I, they been, choke the next year. I've been seeing him do that all his life. I've been seeing him do that all his life, though. St. Vincent, St. Mary's, he did the same thing. Yeah. That's so what greatness looks like. Form. But but my thing, though, TB, guys like Bobby Lee. Try to put. America. Try to yeah. put Steph in the same conversation as LeBron. And, it's and, not going to happen. Call them light skin Jesus. It's and, not going to happen. Just like we see the, the, the outrageous memes right now that's saying the Nets are doing all of this for this 36-year-old. I've seen stuff saying the Lakers are doing all this for this guy, and they'll show Steph. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, Steph bad. owns LeBron. Like, that's yeah. where some folks got Steph at. Folks are saying Steph better than Matt, Urban Magic Johnson. I, and that's – I'll just say I'll just say this. I'll just say this. I looked at what they tried to compose that team of this year, and bringing Kelly Oubre and Andre w Andrew Wiggins in was not going to work. And – it's just the way those guys play, and it's just we don't – like, they'd be better off had they kept Iggy and some other guys that, you know, were really good bench guys. Like, I look at Ubre. Ubre doesn't fit what Golden State does. He don't move around. He can't He can't just shoot on a dime. You know, that's just not his game. He's a slasher. He's a, he's a to-the-basket kind of guy. I just don't know if Ubre and Wiggins would fit. Now, I think they were the best of the talent they could have that was available. But I'm, I'm, I just don't think what I think what magic they had there and what Steve Kerr and Bob Myers have had done in the past, it's not working no more for this league because everybody can score 130. Every just about everybody. I ain't gonna say just about everybody, but a lot of teams can score 130. The no, Rockets every, scored no, 130 right. tonight. Everybody, everybody's been able to do that. No, you're right. It, that that is the point. You got to be able to give me something different because at the end of the day, everybody can put up those points. And and now it's to the point that these two guys, once once quiet and humble, I will say that Steph Curry doesn't really draw a lot of attention to himself. Is that does that hurt them, Ray? That that, that, some, that their best player is not that. So he said something after the game last night where he was like, I hope these guys are embarrassed of how we've been playing lately. I hope they're embarrassed. I hope they take it personal. I appreciate that. You always want your best player to step up and make those kind of comments. I'd rather him say it than Draymond because when Draymond says it, it's like, well, thank you, Draymond, but you gave up 30. Clint, TJ just gave you the stat line on Clint Capella. Guess guess who the hell guards Clint Capella? Draymond, right? So you didn't do what you said you were the best at. You didn't keep him off the glass. You didn't keep him from getting easy buckets. Right Clint Capella's not shooting jump shots, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I'd much rather it be Steph Curry saying right. that than Draymond Green. It's, now, it's he did just, snap after the All Star game. Did y'all see that? Yeah, sure. When he started snapping on some guys on the bench and stuff. That's yeah. my first time ever seeing him snap on folks. It's just, but it's a lot of talk. So the the thing, the, thing about, that, the Clippers. I don't know the media oh, game when they played the Clippers. Called, same like I get whatever. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Dr Draymond, Draymond is telling his guys though, you got to do it how I do it. But what he should be saying is, you got to do it how I used to. Do well, no, nah, this was Steph snapping. Oh, Steph snapping. Okay, yeah, this was, was the gotcha. Clippers game. One of the few times gotcha. I ever saw Steph I think that was the Clippers snapping. game. I think that was the yeah. game against Clippers. Okay, it's, it's just mm -hmm. you know the Steph and Draymond are living off a of hype, really from two three years ago. You know what I mean? And these new guys. Yes, they're legends to them. They're legends to us. Like I said, both of these guys are going to the Hall of Fame. They got championships. But this is a what have you done for me lately type of deal. If it's good, I, I keep going back to the standard. The standard in the NBA today is LeBron James. If it's good enough for LeBron James to be criticized, then everybody underneath got to fall into that same premise, right? So if you're Steph Curry and Draymond Green, you got to step it up, man. Because nobody cares, in that sense, what you did two or three years ago. What are you doing now? And if you're not doing it now, then let's just say we're not doing it and that we're a terrible team. But don't blame it on, oh, I can't get motivated or we haven't played together. And blah. Man, there are a lot of teams that have been without players. The Philadelphia 76ers missed Joel Embiid for weeks. 
for weeks. They're still finding ways to win. Why? Because their other all-star and their other big-time role players step up. And they just want to hoop and compete. And I know we want to devalue that portion. I know we want to devalue the portion of going out there and competing. But you can win games off the strength of you going out and competing. I right, way too early put it on something. Way too early <laughs> put it on something. When Clay comes back next year, and of course we don't know what other roster moves they're gonna make. True, okay? sure. but they get the the base nucleus is back together. Way too early, put it on some prediction whether y'all see them seated next year in the West. I think they could be. I think they could be in the top half of the playoff race, um, just simply because I think Steph Curry's game will be the same for another five to ten years. It's never been based on speed um, and, and leaping ability. He's just an awesome shooter. Mm-hmm. My thing is every year that goes by, Draymond Green gets a little older. He gets a little slower. His vertical, which is pretty much non-existent, gets a little lower. His basketball IQ will always be there, but that half a step that he has and getting over and switching, right, and boxing out, that slowly goes away. We haven't seen Klay Thompson play in, what, two years now? Three. It'll, it'll be three years by the time we see him play again. Man, that's a lot. And so there is no guarantee of what Clay Thompson looks like. Luckily, again, his game is below the rim. Some people say he's the second greatest shooter of all time. He just happens to play with the with the, the greatest shooter. So maybe you don't worry about him as much, but the glue guy, the mouth of it all, Draymond Green, if his value is as important as he think he is, then they won't win another championship because he's not going. It's not going to get any better for him. Six seed. At the at the at the most six. So it's really done. America, my <laughs> brother Tim G. Jacobs has told y'all it is done. It's over unless done. they moved. Uh, unless Golden State transfers to the East, or Adam Silver says we're getting rid of these these conference seedings. Then, then I, I just I think it's know. done. I think it's done. Well, there it is. That is Ray's take. Y'all chime in. And let us know what you think. If you're watching on YouTube, go over to Facebook, go over to Instagram, and let us know what you think. Oh, Twitter as well. And I'll put it on something. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.